and welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, big acoustic guitar pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and we're going to check out the Sire A4 at Dreadnought Acoustic today. Yeah, yeah. Larry Carlton Series A4. Mm. Uh, right from the start, these guitars were sent to us by Sire Guitars. Hello, Sire Guitars. Um, so, yes, yeah, so they've been provided, just so you know. Uh, yeah, if you could hit like and subscribe first on the channel, ding the no notification bell, <coughs> excuse me, and give us a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Help us do our thing and awesome. get more videos out there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So. Yes, the A4. So uh, uh, you can watch my unboxing video I did here um, of all the side guitars a little while ago. So uh, the A4, it's basically, again, with like with all the Larry, Larry Carton stuff, it's designed according to specifications by Larry Carton. It's like the Marcus Miller bass stuff. Uh, it's all done to Marcus Miller specs. This is all done to Larry Carton specs. Mm -hmm. um, all the parts, everything is made in-house by Sire. Uh, it's made in Indonesia. Yep. Uh, it's a dreadnought body guitar with mahogany neck, side and back, and a roasted yes. solid spruce top. I just showed you the mahogany. It's yeah. all, um quite nice it comes in a, i think it comes in a like a tobacco sunbursty kind of finish as well this is the natural finish yeah. um natural and yeah so roasted spruce top which yeah. i guess makes it a bit harder maybe doesn't warp as easily this, yeah resilient i mean more resilient sorry um this one does have a pickup system so it does have a piezo and a miniature condenser mic condenser mic yes so you can blend that in with the, on, on the demo the pickup sound you had was uh, half piece and half mic, so okay, that's okay. what that was. And there's a tone volume and mic control. It does have these cool little modern inlay. I do like the w the way the inlays look. Yeah, where they are. You like them? I do like it. It's yeah, not it's not sort of centered. Um, yeah. Uh, so I should also mention. So uh, I got it out of the box. It sounded fine, played fine. Um, I think I put new strings on it. Then you put new strings on it too later on. Yep. Did you do any truss rod adjustments? Uh, I can't remember. I don't think I did. Oh, sorry. That's no, dead flat. It's pretty flat. And yeah. I mean, it's it's where we live here in Australia, it's quite oh. humid and hot, and necks can move quite a bit. Especially at the moment in summer with yeah. storms around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, should we... Um... Oh, I should also mention, so it's, an, okay. uh, it's a rosewood fingerboard, 25.5-inch uh, scale and a 16-inch fretboard radius cool let's check Let's out another that. check out another clip um, it does the dreadnought thing really well like it's quite balanced across the whole spectrum from bass notes up to the top end. Okay. So just want to mention, so what you're hearing now is just this, out the mic you hear us talk through as well, which yep. is down there. Um, so it's just kind of the room sound. Mm. Uh, like the other side of guitars we've had just recently, all the fit and finish is really quite solid. Yeah. Fret ends are nicely polished and round over. They're not no sharp ends. Um, yeah, that's what the back of the headstock looks like. Stays in tune. The tuners seem good. No dead they spots. Not nice and smooth. So, I mean, we've both done gigs with it, with this. Yeah. Uh, what were your thoughts so far on that guitar, All Up? Um, I think it's really solid. I've 
always played smaller body acoustics. Same like, here. <laughs> uh, Triple O style Grand Auditorium things. Yeah. Um, the latest one I've played is a Guild with a kind of like a mini jumbo style thing, okay. I guess. And um, so going back to Dreadnought, since, since it's been a long time since I've gigged with one, yeah. it's a different sound. Like it's that classic kind of... I find it sits different because I, I tend to the, the guitar I mostly play for acoustic gigs and I do a lot of acoustic gigs yeah. is a is a triple O like a Martin style mm. um, or OMC I think OM style like the smaller body skinnier body to me it sits differently and it it when I did gigs with it it I it, it, I didn't go quite as much into autopilot mode as I usually do of course yeah. Because you have to kind of think about what you're doing. Plus, it doesn't have a cutaway. Mine has a cutaway, yep. so it made me think more about what I was doing. Well, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't know, but um, it just sat differently. Because, I, yeah, I, I mean, for 20 years I've been playing smaller body guitars. Sure. To yeah. go to a dreadnought, it was a little bit different. But I, I liked it. I thought it was good. It took yeah. me a little while to get comfortable with it and find a sound I right, like. But as soon as I did, it was all good. I find you don't have to sit. Over the, if you're smaller build, you don't have to sit over the top of the back of the body. You can actually kind of let it all hang out the back. Uh, so yeah, I've done a um, bunch of gigs over the last few months with it, and yeah. sits nicely. With P um, so the pickup's fine. Yeah, sounds like a, the guitar. Yeah, know, works really nice. Uh, I mean, all up again, and and you know, take it however you want to take it, considering we've been provided these guitars. Um, I'm really impressed with Sire all up mm. with with all the guitars we got. So we got five guitars all up, yep. and I'm really quite impressed with all of them. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do yeah, you dig. Do you have one of these, or do you have any of the other Sire guitars? Uh, do you want one of these? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Um, yeah, and big thank you once again to the awesome people at Sire, and I'm sure Larry Carlton himself. On you, Larry. Who, uh, he said, I want that good boy guy to have a lot, lot of my guitars. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he did. He's a fan. Yeah. I did actually, I think I played in front of him once. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I think he stayed at the, the at the time it was the Sheraton hmm. in Noosa, oh, nice. which is now the Sofitel in Noosa. And I'm sure he was it was him sitting there in a, in a sort of restaurant bar bit. Yep. And then a big four-wheel drive came and picked him up. Cool. But it, uh, when I was kind of playing, and then you see... And I thought, is that Larry Carton? And then you kind of go, oh, crap. <laughs> and then I played really badly. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Happens. Yeah. Yeah, uh, thanks for having, hanging. There's comments below. Excuse me. <coughs> comments, questions below. What do you guys think? Yeah. Also links below to podcast, Instagram, and uh, Facebook. That's the one. Facebook group chat. Being cool. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for hanging. See you soon. Bye now.